What's up my fellow animal lovers, Wolfgar here and I welcome you to my channel. Um, I'm very excited to be here uh, for a couple of reasons. The first one, which is probably very obvious, is this is my very first stream, so um, hey! And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest, but I'm also very excited to, to start this. So, yeah. I probably took about a month to, to get my courage all together and sit down, press record and start uh, this uh, let's play, or whatever you want to call it. As you see, we are in Planet Zoo main menu. For those of you that don't know, just quick, Planet Zoo is type of a sim game where you build the zoo and you have a bunch of animals you have to take care, you build them a habitat and uh, you can also uh, trade them or go into a breeding program, there is a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, so far I've just completed a campaign, so I know the basics, but uh, I know there's still a lot that I can uh, explore, experience, and uh, well, seeing some zoos here on YouTube, uh, what people can do is just mind-blowing, okay? So, yeah, I'm, uh, I have a tough competition. Okay, and the second thing is why I'm so excited is I'm gonna try a, a, a kind of a different uh, challenge. Also, I, I apologize because when I'm nervous I just ramble a lot, so uh, I, I will get into it, but yeah, uh, bear with me, please. Uh, so, the challenge is I uh, ever since I started playing this game I fell in love with it. I, I, very soothing it, it's calm it's uh, the music is awesome and uh, it's really uh, re very relaxing game and um, as I was playing the game I started thinking I wonder how it would be if you, you would be able to recreate a real zoo here so and yeah that idea just stuck in my mind and uh, yeah so this is the second um, exciting news I have and that is I'm gonna try and recreate my, uh, a zoo from my country here in Slovenia uh, so yeah the zoo is Ljubljana Zoo for those of you that um, wanna google it out and um, yeah so um, wish me luck because uh, it, it, it's quite challenging uh, so I, I got my map here I got some um, uh, ideas on what I will do and uh, I'll try to update that as I visit the zoo a bit more um, but yeah for now let's let's just do a foundation and we'll see how it's going how it's gonna go uh, so what we are gonna do is go into franchise mode there's a couple of options you can do so this is a career career and um, there's time scenarios and a lot of stuff you can do. There are some zoos from the entire game. Uh, they're saved here, so you can go check them out. Uh, and there's a sandbox mode, which is basically on um, no limits. The unlimited, you have unlimited money. You have uh, the the animals uh, aren't that. Um, you don't have to take care of their welfare and so on. So you just build zoo and you know, the sky's the limit. Here. What we are gonna do is uh, we're going to uh, franchise mode. So franchise is you actually create a franchise and then you build build zoos around the, this franchise and you know how franchises work. And uh, that's what we are gonna do. So we are gonna start our first franchise zoo and it's gonna be zoo in Ljubljana. So okay, let's do it. Since I've never done this before, this is the first thing we have to do. And uh, I did. Uh, take some time to think what I'm gonna name them and uh, I went with uh, the idea of um, translating my surname and then adding some stuff around so we are gonna name them Firenetto Sanctuaries sorry oh we are limited right Sanctuary. Firenet Sanctuary. Okay, that's gonna work. So yeah, Firenet is actually my surname or Burning Metal or whatever it's called in English. And yeah, um, this sounds better than Burning Metal or Stinging Metal. 
So, okay. Do we, can we change this? I'm ready. Oh, okay. So we got uh, 100 con conservation points. The, those points are kind of like... Uh, if you release the animals into the wild, you get these points and you can trade and buy other animals with it. So, yeah. Um, that's cool. Thank you. Um, now, just a quick... Oh, I can change them later on. Okay, so that's no problem. Uh, I just want to change this um, logo uh, qu very quick because I don't like this one too much. Uh, this one's kind of cool, but... Uh, panda. Panda. You're a panda. He's a panda. Let's go with the panda. This Cool. Okay, so that's it. Now we need 100 conservation points to actually build our first uh, franchise. So let's do this. And we. Yeah, yeah. So new zoo. Now we are. Slovenia is actually located here. Kinda. Very hard to, to to point that out because we are <laughs> a small country, but we're next to Italy, Austria, and Hungary and Croatia. So yeah, maybe someone already visited. Um, come on, I changed this. Doesn't matter. Okay, so Europe. Uh, let's keep difficult to medium right now because I have no idea what uh, what I'm gonna face. And uh, let's leave this flat. And name of the zoo will be. Ljubljana Zoo Temperate Okay That's so funny because where I live is actually more of a tiger But yeah, let's leave it at temperate uh, Okay I'm super excited, so are you? Okay, let's do this So let's create And we got an achievement for it, awesome Now, while this is loading, uh, just a couple of uh, things to point out. Uh, it's very difficult to completely replicate. Let me just put this on pause. Um, it's very difficult to replicate the entire zoos brick by brick. So, uh, what I decided to do is actually to um, try to create the habitats as original as they are. And... Um, We'll see um, how that goes. Now, there's another thing that uh, it's kind of a tricky, and uh, you can also uh, put some of your ideas or or suggestions in the comments. Um, and that is, there are some animals that we have that Planet Zoo doesn't hasn't included yet, like birds and so on. Uh, and there are some animals that uh, Planet Zoo has that we don't have, obviously. So, um, it's gonna take a bit of imagination what we will do. I have some ideas. One is uh, to actually build a habitat anyway and just leave it empty. Maybe with the future DLCs we will get some new animals. Or maybe, I don't know, replace it with some other an similar animal or whatever. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and to um, we'll see how it goes as we play. Okay, so here we are. So this is our um, terrain. Now there's gonna be another challenge and that is um, one part of the zoo is very high up. We have a high hill up there that goes very, very, you know, it's quite far. And um, yeah, we're gonna have to do some terraforming to do that. But um, let's leave that for a bit later on when I get more skills and get more comfortable with Talking and playing at the same time and um, yeah, entertaining you guys. So first thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to do some paths. And as you come into our zoo, we have natural path. Is that... Uh, no, that's just... Um, we need a gravel path. If I have it, stone slate. Don't have it. Tree bark. No, it's not tree bark. Rustic path. 
forever forever ah okay so uh as you come into our zoo there's a big gravel area with some a small hay ra uh hay rack or hay stack hay rack hay rack here with some info and so on and then there are some toilets here and uh a small sh souvenir shop here and then we go up so um there's another thing that um i have to point out there are certain mechanics of the game that require staff facilities to be very near the habitats or placed strategically so that the entire zoo actually functions and uh, the second thing is like uh, food and drink vendors are what also makes a lot of money and um, while in real zoo there aren't these stalls where i will place them here um let's just pretend like they are you know but houses and so on so i'm gonna have to be a bit um uh sorry i forgot the word as you probably already realized english is not my first uh language so i tend to forget some words and then i freeze and try to think the word and like two minutes go by so anyway enough of talking let's finally start this game shall we so uh i'm gonna keep it paused for a while now first i'm gonna extend uh, uh where is it angle snap let's do this yeah okay we can widen the path here a bit did i widen i didn't okay this is cool so uh we can widen the path how wide we can build it and first i'm gonna extend this entrance a bit uh just to give myself some space because um i'm gonna place some uh what are called uh staff facilities here or for the beginning okay then we have an option to align to grid here so we can build you know like very symmetrical paths and let's let's do one more like, just to be sure then let's do this and we are gonna extend this area here awesome okay so that's it um what i was thinking first so there's a first habitat that you come in there are some uh, domestic animals here and a bit further up uh, as we don't have domestic goats yet in the game, we are just gonna decorate it a bit later because we have to we have to keep our um, eye on the finances and spend too much because then the entire franchise goes to hell. Um, then we have a uh, habitat which include let me check what's the English word for it so Saimiri and okay we have an armadillo I just bought a DLC that includes armadillo so we're gonna be able to do that and uh squirrel monkeys okay so we don't have squirrel monkeys in the game I believe so we're just gonna build a habitat but let's do that for later on when we get enough cash um okay so from here let's deselect the grid the path kind of splits and uh, one path goes like so okay oh, yeah right. so let's redo this you have an option to redo and you get some money back so one path goes like so uh, i might come back at later episodes and fix this um need be because uh, as I started playing right now, I realized that I don't actually remember how this, uh, at least for me, this um, quote unquote unimportant stuff is. Because I, when I go, I just look at the animals and I enjoy that they're, um, you know, how they behave and everything. And I didn't uh, pay attention to how the placement is. So we're gonna improve. Anyway, the rain goes up a bit here, but we're just gonna keep it flat to keep it simple. And then the path, one path goes like further on, like 
So it continues up. Let's leave it at there. And the second one, come on. This road sometimes are cool. And there's another path that goes like here. And we're going to start here. Because it's the easiest to, to do. We can... We can make a narrow path a bit here. We don't need it as as wide. Okay, so that's the first placement. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then um, there is a souvenir shop here. Um, but I was thinking that I might I might um improvise here a bit to put in some other uh, facilities just, just you know when guests come in so they can buy some stuff and so on so yeah i think it's gonna be a bit more um convenient for us now there's a building here i can't quite remember what it is so let's we're gonna do the construction and just put it here for a while uh, um a bit later on sorry but for now let's do uh where is it? So merchandise? Yeah, so Looney Blooms. Oh right, yeah. I we have to use um research to to unlock other stuff. So okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna improvise. So let's just build a souvenir shop like so. It's gonna be far enough, I believe. Yeah, so uh, let's build a souvenir shop here and then let's also build a uh, gulpy soda. I wonder if I can fix the, the pathing here. Uh, I don't want to have these. Uh... Okay, we'll see. So let's build a gulpy soda here so people can have something to drink and also something to eat. Chief beef or Bernie's bake. Now let's put Bernie's bakes here. Okay. Later on we're gonna decorate and everything. But for now we have to keep our eye on the money. Because otherwise we're gonna be broke. Okay. So we're gonna leave this part here for that house I mentioned. Uh, and then we have some toilets here I believe. There's a wide path. Let's keep it a narrow one. Um... Just go like so. so, so, so. Okay, I think that's about enough. Oh, actually, no, I have to extend it because you can also see some uh, some of the animals from this side as well, which is actually not an official path. It's from here, but yeah. And um, where is it? I can't. Oh, toilet. Yeah, the. Toilet block. Let's put two. Let's try to put them as they are, actually. So, there's one like. Oh no. I'm gonna do something else. Oops. I'm gonna do like. So, okay. And then, um. There's one toilet like. And the other one on the other side. Oh, you're gonna screw with me, aren't you? Come on. Oh, like so. Now we're gonna build some um, wall here to, to hide it from the staff. And now we're gonna improvise. We are gonna actually build an area here for the staff. We are actually gonna build staff facilities here. Now, the the mechanic of the game is that guests don't actually like to see staff facilities. That it's the um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, okay. There's another word I'm looking for, but it has a negative impact on the guests, and they don't, you know, wanna see the personnel working at the zoo, which is, you know 
for me personally, I would very much like to see personnel taking care of animals like so and not just, you know, unofficially. But yeah, it's a game. So, here we are. And what we need, as I said, I'm gonna cover this up so they won't see them. Um, what we need is, first and foremost, can I erase the row at the building? No. Verify. I don't know. Okay. So we need animal trade center where we get animals that we buy. We of course. Need we of course need. A keeper's hut where our animal keepers are gonna prepare stuff for the animals. We need step. Let me just try and raise this because it bothers me. Okay, awesome. Um, we need staff room facilities. Oh, come on. We need staff room facilities where our staff personnel can relax. And of course, we want them to relax so they are more efficient at their work. And then we need... Basically, we need everything, but... Um, oh, damn it. We need vet. Do we need a vet at the beginning? I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and... You have a multi-select tool here where you can select a bunch of options and then you can press M and move stuff around. Um, let me guys know if you want me to explain the mechanics a bit more because I'm so focused right now on how I'm gonna do this that um, maybe I forget to explain some stuff so yeah and also this is my first time so I have no idea how this works um, I know it's a poor excuse yeah, it's the truth let's stay with these four right now I think I think that's keepers hot animal trade bad workshop okay quarantine Ah, uh, quarantine might not be a bad idea if we get some sick animals. And research. Let's wait with the research a bit. Yeah, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, risk it. I'm gonna build a research center as well because um, if we get a sick animal from the trading uh, center, then um, and we put that animal inside, it's actually. Okay, let's see and do this stuff. Um, all the animals get sick and then we're basically screwed. Come on. Oh. My bad. No, I don't want to do it. Okay, I want to do this, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Now the pathing system is still something I I'm very, very, um, why is it a little bit, um, trying to figure out. I haven't done that yet, so, um, can I just select and connect? Up. Good. So let's move these guys. Uh, let me guys know if there's an easier way no oh, no no wait if there's an easier way to do this I'll be uh, very glad if there are some shortcuts uh, with this pathing system and everything I wonder if I select all of them and move you all at the same time why aren't you connecting? So if I press Y, I think it's Y. Okay, that sense. If I press Y, I can actually rotate it. We're gonna see that later on. Okay, so that's it. Now let us build a couple of um, bins. Because, uh, yeah. 
we need a lot of bins in this game. Because people, people are just animals. They throw trash around and guess what? They don't like it. So funny, they don't like having trash on the floor, but no one wants to bend down and pick the trash and put it in a can. So I think that's about enough. So let's finally finally go into our first habitat and um, that will be uh, I think it's called meerkat 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 okay no I whoa you're quite expensive um the reason for it is Doesn't. This one is kind of cool. Uh, sorry. The, the reason for it is because it's, I think it's the easiest to build so I can orient myself later on how I'm gonna place the, the zoo. And uh, let, let's wait. Does this. I just want to check something out. Does this... Oh, okay. Even though if, if I'm on pause, it, it runs, so... Yeah. Uh, let's do a... Uh, habitat. So what I'm gonna do first is... Um, I think it's drywall. It's not... I just hope I have that type of wall, concrete wall. Can I paint concrete walls? Yeah, I can. Okay, so it's concrete. Do I have concrete wall? Metal, no, it's not metal. Mud wall. Huh. Actually, oh, there's a small one. Oh, this is even better and i can also paint you but you have very limited stuff to work with me not like what about you where's the wall part wall part right align to surf no. Okay, um, now it kind of threw me off, I wanted to do the curved stuff and so on, but I don't have, so I will gonna have to use the concrete one. Let, let's just start with this and maybe we can change it a bit later on, so. As you come to the meerkat habitat in Ljubljana, there is a, a small pot. And that's where meerkats have their fun. This is probably wide enough. Should work. Um. Now there are some gla glass windows here and it's not these ones that I want. I'm, I'm uh, as I said, I'm fairly new with this and uh, I'm still trying to, okay, trying to figure this out. So if I, can I paint you? 
Oh, so if I stop talking, it's actually my hamster wheel turning. And, uh, what I'm trying to do is, is there a thinner? I'm trying to, to include some um, windows. So this is going to be a door for the habitat to enter. And here I'm going to try and do two windows. Those windows are actually... I just try something. Barrier, habitat, door. Well, I can build a narrower. Ah! Let's do this. Let's... So if I press split from group, as you saw before, let me go on back. If I select this, this is all uh, considered like one group. But if I press this one, split from group, I can now move this piece individually without influencing the other and this just sucks okay so not that what i'm gonna do is just put a plain concrete wall like so like so no try with this this is where the door is gonna be for the this one so yeah if i press uh y the circle shows up and i can just move it around if i press x you get these two so and i can build this one okay now, this is really not how I imagined this first stream to go, so I apologize. This is a bit more challenging than I actually thought, so... Anyway, uh, why can you, you can turn it around, like so. And then let's just put this here. And then let's use this piece I had before. And then just... Can I add it to the group? Word. No. Oh, I messed something up and I have no idea what I did. What I did. Is this the same level? No. No. So what I'm going to do is turn this around, I can. This is going to be look bad. No. Let's do another one of these. I'm going to put them so. These aren't actually the windows I was hoping for, but I can do... Oh, what I can do is actually move this part a bit more and like do it like... Oh. Oh. And then move this piece here. Yeah, that's gonna be... that's gonna be better. And I move this piece here and maybe realign it a bit more. Like so, okay, this looks better. Cool, awesome. Then, um, let's do, let's do the concrete door. Yeah, we can do this one. We're gonna put it here. 
and then let's move you oh, i have to split it from group let's move this part a bit lower because meerkats don't actually need no actually i'm gonna leave it here because then the staff can't uh, enter yeah i completely forgot about a staff uh so in order for everything to function the staff actually has to have enough room to up uh, go in and out and we're gonna build uh, the door here where it actually is and we want the staff to actually go in here into the habitat and place some food and stuff here because this is how the habitat is gonna look it's gonna be a bit more uh interesting a bit later on uh so just please stick with me a bit more this is gonna get a bit more fun i promise but you know the beginnings are always difficult especially considering everything as i've been thinking actually quite a lot if i should do that to be honest um At some point I actually thought that it would be easier if I just build a zoo after my own imagination, do whatever I want, but um, I don't know, I, I in, in a way I, I like a challenge. I've played this game quite, quite a lot, I haven't actually done this stuff because you know, camp, um, if i place uh if there's a tick here at random rotation uh the game um rotates stuff around so this is very useful for rocks but for building right now that's not oh no so if i select this piece and now press ctrl x i'm gonna duplicate this i knew it it's not in line i knew it uh, it actually duplicates and then you can move it around so you can have everything in line, you know, in line, in line. Oh, Let's do this again and move here. Yeah, that's probably because I, I, I split it from group and then everything, you know, kind of... Shut down. Um, okay, so let's do this and let's try and this one group. Come on! I did it! I didn't. Okay, just a bit more, just a bit more. Oh, and I forgot to paint it. I'm not gonna do that later on. Select the group and then let's align it like so. And then we put another stone panel here just add this to the group why not tell me why this this is okay okay cool and one more thing we need to do is is this the right one not this one is to build a roof this is okay um now again the real life oh this is so ugly i'm gonna have to fix fix that uh in in ljubljana this building actually is a bit uh round so it, it has a round roof 
and so far I haven't figured out how, how to actually build it. So if you guys have any suggestions, please do mention them in comments below. Let's not waste too much time here because I can do this for about two hours or even more. Uh, let's just build this habitat finally, get some meerkats. Speaking about meerkats, I actually forgot to check the trading area. Oh, this one's okay, it has nice stats. Here, so okay, I don't like that. But if we don't get anything else better, we're gonna have to go with. It. So there's a baby boy. Yeah, not the best, but we have to start with some thing. So uh, you have an option. This is a very good uh, option here in this game. We have a Zoopedia, so basically all information regarding the animals that you own. And uh, there's some text here. I'm not going to read it so we don't waste that much time. But if you want me to read the bio of the new animals I'm going to include, uh, please do let me know what we are looking for. So you get some information here from which continent it is, which biomes they like. How much space they need, the temperature, what type of grading, and so on. So uh, I'm gonna get, go into a bit more detail later on. And then um, this is what I was looking for. So you have a social group. This is very important. Important, and there's this is something that still kind of bothers me. Um, I just can't remember. So okay. Two males up to male bachelor group size, female bachelor group size. Alpha female matriarch, matriarch, matriarchal society. Okay, so let's just go. How many I bought? Baby boy and baby girl. Okay, let's just go with this. While we wait, I'm gonna select both. I'm gonna click this send to zoo. And what I'm gonna, oh, we don't have any staff. The animals won't take care of themselves, right? I mean, they will in the wild, but not here. So what we need is a caretaker. So this guy actually cleans the zoo up. We need a keeper who uh, takes care of the animals and cleans their habitat and so on, prepares food and so on. A mechanic is a must. I don't have to explain what the mechanic does. We don't need a security at the moment and uh, we need a vet. I think it's wise to get a vet. Vets are kind of expensive, but we need them. Him. Her. Okay. Okay, so very nice suspension in the air. <laughs> uh, let's just unpause them so the zoo registers them. And then what we have to do is, oh that's quite far. Uh, what I didn't thought of is 
Oh god damn it. Ah uh, we're gonna have to improvise. So um every electronic stuff like in real life needs electricity and the zoo entrance comes with basic electricity field as you see here you can select this here on heat maps various options and um, a great part of this game is building education boards and everything around that so you actually have get a better rating if you have enough education and we are just outside this area so we'll have to expand this somehow still not sure because these buildings really deteriorate the environment for the guests so i don't know let's let's just build a habitat first and then we'll see how that goes anyway what i wanted to do is for everything to to work um efficient as efficiently as possible you have to create work zones and you can place various staff in specific work zones so they don't you know jump around uh, and you know bother each other's workplace so we're gonna name this work first work zone entrance so i know what included so the first part of the zoo is gonna be entrance and we're gonna select this and we're gonna select all these buildings the toilets and uh what are they called guest facilities and we are gonna later uh include this as well so Let's go back here, let's finish the roof. Concrete wall floor. Okay, so select group. Come on. I'm already I already had it. Come on. No. 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 Come on. Come on. Let's just do this. And then I'm gonna do this. Split from group, press this, move this, and I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. So, split from group, move. Ah, okay, now I get it. But I can't fix that now. So, now I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's let's just leave it for now, okay? Um, now we're gonna go into barriers, and uh, there's actually a glass glass barrier here where you can, you know, as a visitor you can uh, look in. But oh, we do have some. Okay, didn't see that. We do. Then let's go and build this. This one is a bit expensive. a bit too long let's just shorten it a bit this no a bit more oh this is good then let's shorten it a bit more and then let's go like so use this curved option and start curving the barrier like so uh, also one more thing right i just remembered as i'm building this i have no idea how big the habitats are um so i'm just gonna eyeball it this is already a bit too far i think this should be okay you can't watch from this side anyway so it doesn't matter that much so we're just gonna go like so in and connect cool and then we're gonna include less habitat door and just check if, if it's 
built correctly. Is this in or out? You never know. Oh. So the green light and uh, the doormat is here, so this should be fine. Let us check. If I press on this, incomplete. Okay, why are you incomplete? Oh. Because the entire fence is missing. Okay, like so. Oh, they have more than enough terrain. That, that's okay. Okay. Now they have a, a small door here, but uh, I'm not sure how big I can maybe lower it a bit more. I'm gonna see. The guests aren't that tall anyway, so. Let's just fix this before I forget. and move and move this here so this is where the problem is okay. I'm gonna work with this a bit later on well, it's better, okay. um, or maybe I'm gonna do this so yeah that, that, there's another thing I was thinking um, and I want you guys to oh so yeah that, that's if I press X one more time this, this happens uh, I want you guys to let me know if um, you want me to speed build this stuff. So I actually edit. And uh, do this the speed way. And then uh, continue with the normal gameplay. Or, or you want me to leave this as it is, include it every include it like so and then you know you guys just listen to me yap so okay so that's done can i i just want to do one more thing then we're gonna Yeah, this looks better. And this fence is a bit lower. It doesn't need to be that tall. But the inner one has to be because otherwise... Did I just... No. Oh. So... And let's just move this down a bit. Like. Okay. And then this one needs to be. Can't I do it any other way? And I. Plus. And I can do this. Okay, that's cool. And let's do this. Oh, click, click, click. Come on, click, click. I'll do this. Come on, don't do this to me. This up. 
this sucks. Come on, game. I have to do this. This looks cool. Um, okay, so that's it. Now I can finally, we can finally. Oh, for the love of. I guess it's true why they say that the first uh, stream is always the sucky one. So. Okay, finally. And now I can just put all these workers into the entrance work zone. And they will take care of this part. So, I think it's finally time to... Um, oh, look at me. One hour. One hour already. This really goes fast and yeah. But you guys know how these sim games are. The beginning is always, you know, weird and slow and boring. Um, anyway, let's finally, finally. Uh, if you're still with me, thank you very much for your time and patience. Let's finally put our animals in the zoo and start getting guests in. So as before, we go into the animal trading, we click here on animal store, we select both these guys, and then what I always do is to put them in quarantine, as I mentioned before, because yeah, we have to get a, uh, a vet, because if they get a sickness, it's, it's, um, it's not free, I just say that. Okay, so this. This looks fun. So far. And don't worry about the decorations. We're gonna do that later on. Uh, there are some trees, you know, and stuff. But for, for now, for a uh, foundation, I just want to get approximate on how the zoo is situated. As I said, there's gonna be a very quite steep hill here where we're gonna get wolves and bears and uh, moose and deer yeah deer and uh, lynx or bobcat lynx and lynxes um up here uh, on top and then you know further down the path can gets back here and then it connects here and the second part of the zoo where i think was the first one not sure i have to um, check that out research a bit more is this part so this is where we're gonna focus first and foremost so we get enough uh, enough cash and then later on we're gonna terraform because it's gonna eat our money so what's going on i need a research yeah i know we need a research center and let's put what i want to do what i want to do i want to do let's put some new new stuff so this kind of like um not sure how to call it uh this is where most of the um stuff happens and we have some uh vet research where we can improve uh, the animals and get some new toys and food enrichment and so on and then there's another tab which is mechanic research and the mechanic research actually researches all this stuff so what i want to do is maybe get some new souvenir shops as i said this is a, as you enter and exit the the zoo there's a souvenir shop here and uh, okay we do have looney blooms but that's that's not the same we need a souvenir shop so animals are ready none of them are sick which is good and we select them all again you can also select them individually and then move and now you have to select the habitat and then this guy, caretaker, is gonna run here, gonna pick the, the animals up, and he's gonna carry them. One, oh, yeah, 
and uh, it's gonna carry them. Oh, the the vet also carries them. Did not know that. So the caretaker and the vet are uh, both carrying the animal. Cool. Inefficient. Uh, can I fix this path here? This, this is really bothering me. I can just pause for a sec. Um, can I... Can I... No. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Maybe I can do some other stuff here. Um, on pause. So, where are our animals? Probably inside, so... I missed the first one, so I'm gonna be here for the second one. And there we go! We have our first animal! We have our first animal here, so... This is awesome. Uh, you have an option here to to go into camera mode which really zooms in into the animals and this is this is the f best part actually especially when you get some baby animals and so on um and you can observe them as they move and uh, let's unpause and see what this does so, yeah look at them run yeah I, I, we're gonna fix the terrain first um because yeah they don't live in this area but this type of area so okay um let's do this first before they get very whoa this is actually a place for a lion probably yeah i can probably um shorten this we don't need that much because you know we don't need I mean, the house is a lot bigger than it is than it is in real life. But the problem is because I have no idea how to do these two windows any other way, at least now. So if you have any ideas on how we can do that, um, I'd appreciate the feedback. So uh, do let me know. So for now, let's do this. Okay, let's build them a habitat that they actually like because as they are from, where would they, we say they are from? Uh, yeah, Africa. Uh, they don't like grass, right? So, uh, we have to fix that. Alright, so let's say, this is a very good calculator. So if you have like, let's say we have like eight adults and um, four babies. They need... 360 square meters we have meters here so i'm just gonna um stay with meters and uh, kilos and so on and celsius um we can actually well oh they need a lot more so uh, i was actually fine before okay then let's leave it like so wow for such small animals they do have a lot of terrain so yeah more than enough uh so if we let me do this again if i click on the animal uh i get various info about the animal so the overall welfare how nutritious uh, how nutrition is the meal and so on social life if there's you know they're stressed or the social group is too small and so on so uh, habitat, so we have some terrain issues, as we see. Shelter is okay, so we build them shelter and enrichment. So this is going to come later on when we research uh, the animals a bit more. We get more uh, fancier food selection and more toy enrichment, so they're going to be a bit more happy. But what we can fix right now is the terrain. So we're going to click on terrain, and we'll see here that they... We have a lot of long grass and they don't like long grass but they do like soil so we have zero soil and there's a very uh great way to do this so you don't have to go here terrain and paint you just click this option here and automatically 
select the, the um, terrain you want to paint. And then we have the intensity. Let's put this down a bit. And size, how big this radius is. And let's just keep it here for now. Uh, and let's paint this area. So let's lose. I can probably do intensity a bit more and a bit wider radius. So let's paint this. Okay, so as you see, they are a lot more, a lot happier now. Let me go inside. So you can move up and down with Q and E. And let's create them a habitat that they actually like. So they like spoil. We... Oh. So. 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 And they want sand as well. Of course they do. So we're gonna put sand here. And we'll just, and just paint. This is all you actually do. So you just paint this area like so. We're gonna put some sand inside their building as well. So uh, they don't. They don't. Okay, yeah, some soil. Like so. We'll put sand here. Fences and. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna put in some patches of soil here, like it's the color a bit more vivid. Okay, so we fixed this issue, and as you can see, they aren't dissatisfied anymore with the terrain. So that's cool. Awesome. Now, what we also have to do for the Activists arrive. Where is it? Have it there. We have to put in the food bowl and the water bowl. And there are a couple of ways we can do this, but for now, let's keep it simple. Uh, you can also type here meerkat. So you only select stuff that that is relevant to meerkat because. Uh, Otherwise, you get everything from carnivores to basically everything. And what we are going to do is food tray. So we have to put... Whoa, no, small one. We have to put the food tray in. And we're going to put one food tray inside. Because I want the animals to have some peace and quiet when they eat. And we are going to put some food enrichment items here. So that the, uh, the guests, sorry, the guests can see how they feed and so on. So this is like a treat time and this is actually a proper meal time. Um, yeah, so this is it. And water. Uh, there are a couple of ways we can do this. We can put a water bowl. Um, and we can put this water pipe in. This is a bit more expensive. But I think this one doesn't need to be cleaned up. So it's always fresh water. Well, this one, the keeper has to um, change it every once in a while. And even though this one looks ugly as you know what, I'm still going to put it in here and just going to hide it like so, so the guests don't see it. And if I remember right, but yeah, I think there's some windows here as well not just here but here as well anyway as i said i, I won't be doing the, the exact replica because i can be here for the entire week and no one wants to watch me do this the entire week not even me so we can also do some animal burrows yeah okay so this is their home. They don't actually need this because they have animal bird. So let's build one here. Why don't you want obstructed? Why are you obstructed? Okay. 
So let's build one here. Yep. And let's build one here as well. Did you have it outside? I don't think so. Just leave that one for now. Okay, so that's one thing. And then there's another thing. Environment. Now they don't actually need that much of environment. They're happy if there's... Oh, the cast are coming. Let me just pause for a second. Um, they don't need that much coverage, but uh, we're gonna decorate a bit more with some rocks and so on later on. But for now, we... Okay, we still have enough, but uh, let me just put some stuff down first for the guests. Now, the... The most important part in Planet Zoo is having these donation boxes. Now, even though they look ugly as hell, uh, this is actually where most of your money comes in. And you need to put these in very specific places um, where the people gather. So I'm not going to put it here because then, you know, I can't see past it. But this here is okay. I might put this one here at, in, on the corner. Because, yeah. I don't like this that much, but anyway, so let's do one more here. Okay. So, you can actually click on guests and you can read their uh, thoughts and so on. So education is very low and this is something we really have to fix. And one more thing, I just realize that I'm gonna select all this and I am going to paint it into a color that's more friendly to them so color editor this is actually what I found out a couple of days ago so I didn't even know it before ah uh, this is fairly close I believe or something like that. This, the, the roof is kind of a black dome stuff, but yeah, we we'll just keep it so far like this. The specter arriving already. It just barely open. Jesus. Inspector. This area is a little bland. Yeah, I know it is. I just opened. Jesus. Take a chill pill. Anyway. What do we have here? So yeah, they are buying stuff, so that's cool. You guys are already going home. Toilets. There's a toilet here. But okay, so now as I mentioned before, we have to fix this electricity. So. Where? Oh yeah, you did it. As much as I hate it, but I actually have to do this. We're gonna camouflage this. This is not actually how it is in, in Ljubljana, but as I said before, I have to improvise with some stuff. Um, I'm gonna hide this behind here. Let me just take this map off. Like so. And then I'm gonna cover this part up and yeah, let me just see if oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Let me just think here for a second if there's a way I can actually hide this. I mean later on I'm gonna research solar power and so on, so that's gonna help a lot, but for now I just have to improvise. Let's do something else. Let's move this guy here. Guy. Let's move this here. For now. For now. Okay. It's not actually perfect, but it's the best I can do right now. Location. 
Life Inventory. You know what? Life Inventory. And let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. What was it? Six? Yeah. Let's just increase this like so and then let's put yeah. okay that's good awesome so we now have electricity in this part All right awesome we have to uh we have to before i forget we have to edit the work zone and add this transformer so that mechanic goes into this regular uh maintenance path oh cool even up to this part so let's duplicate control d let's put another donation bin here so that everyone can donate cool now let's see if we can get some more new cats because this is this is actually pretty sad if i remember it said that they are matriarchal society alpha female matriarch so we need we need more male meerkats right these stats are, are kind of bad um so yeah the size i mean everything is important in some way so yeah immunity sucks so this is not what we want this one is cool not that expensive as well he is a bit old and thunder and thunder i'm gonna butcher these names so sorry but um oh yeah we can also do one more thing if your guys and gals are up for it uh what if we actually name um name these guys differently so let me know what you think i mean um I can very much name uh, one of you guys, some of, of these after you guys, especially the first uh, people that, you know, watch this video, which I'm very grateful, because if you've gotten to this point, you're a winner in my heart, because I, I know that this, this first area was, was uh, very, very boring. I know, I realize that, but as i said i haven't figured everything out i'm doing stuff as i go these are all too why are you so oh yeah no wonder oh well, we're gonna add them slowly so uh where was i yeah um i know this is boring um but later on when the zoo goes out oh someone lost the balloon pop pop it's gonna get a bit more uh, entertaining. So yeah, this is it. Sorry for this. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me just say here that. Um, even though this is my very first stream, uh, I'm very excited to start this. This has been a wish for some time now, but I, as I said before, I never got the courage to do it. Um, specifically because I thought that my uh, language was a barrier, that, you know, I'm not a native English speaker and um, there will be these uh, pauses as I think what to say. But after a while, when I stop, actually translating in my head and just go with the flow it gets a bit easier but uh yeah so that that was one big mistake um fear i had and the other one is like you know with everyone will this will people watch this will, will this be fun will this be exciting so yeah but i'm doing this for fun i want to share this experience i want to share uh, how our zoo actually looks because it's a very small zoo 
but it's a uh, it's a wonderful uh, just because of that it's wonderful because you can actually go through the entire zoo in in a couple of hours and you still have the entire day and you can go over it again or you can go through the entire zoo and then actually decide where you want to spend more time you can actually go to see the wolves again and you go to see the wolves if you actually want to see the lions you go see the lions so uh that's what's great about it i've been to a couple of big zoos like the one in prague it was it was a beautiful zoo this is as far as i remember it's been a while back um but yeah it was big I mean, at the end, I was so tired of walking all around that um, I didn't want to go another round. But here you can, actually. Unless you have small kids and... Yeah, I know how that is. Anyway, so Nintendo... Nintendo, Nintendo is ready. He's cool. He's healthy. And... Let's see what's going on. We're gonna build some stuff around here. They have some climbing stuff, but some easy climbing stuff. Uh, enrichment, yeah, I know. So, as we get some money, okay, so we are doing awesome. So, we're doing 2k plus, okay. Uh, we can actually, we can actually add facilities. Uh, we can actually add a research center. So, we're gonna research these animals. I can actually put it like so. Yeah, this is cool. I can fill this area here. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, quarantine, vet, surgery. And then we have everything, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, vet. I can exit the group. Uh, it went like that. No, you know what? Actually, this this isn't okay because it, it ruins my ruins my plans for future. Anyway, as I said before, I might do some speed, sp um, what's it called? Uh, times. Uh, oh, this is cool. Speed build, so I might be editing this video a bit. Um, just so that I get to some um, interesting parts. Or maybe not, maybe I'm gonna leave the first one. And let you guys tell me what to do. Uh, because I, I really want to improve. Yeah, I don't have a security guard. I know. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe we can hire. Maybe we can hire one. Um, let's add them to the workplace. Because I really want to improve. And as I said, this is my first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. Even what I am doing is actually an improvement. So... Um, yeah, I'll very much be grateful for any feedback and how to, you know, improve and so on. Um, and yeah, let me guys... Let me know if... Uh, when I build stuff, I go into... Uh, speak... I can't remember the word, damn it. Um, time lapse. Finally, time lapse. So let me guys know if you want me to do this in time lapse, and we and I leave the most the, the fun part, or you guys want to see everything. So yeah. Now let's let's put some benches around here. When people take this, they probably want to sit down and eat in peace, right? So let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it's even better. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ask me. Not why I can't do it. Maybe it's on um, collision stuff. Okay. Anyway. Are, it, are there any benches here? There, there are some logs here. I know they have some show here with this part. 
Uh, I'm gonna build this part a bit later on because I do actually have to go into a zoo again and remember this part how it's built because I can't for the I can't, I can't remember right now I know there's a like gravel path here there are some domestic goats here and some cows and there's llamas or alpacas so yeah I, I have a <laughs> I actually uh, downloaded the map and I'm usually using it for reference because otherwise this would be a very short video. Alpacas. Okay, do we have alpacas? No, I don't think there are alpacas. No, we do have llamas, right? Yeah, but we have llamas a bit... Um, we do have llamas later on. Oh, that's guano. Tandu. Do we have llamas? That's a good one. Okay, so yeah. Let me guys know uh, if I put uh, llamas here instead of alpacas. As I said before, there are some animals that we don't have. And there are some animals that we have and Planet Zoo hasn't included yet. Or maybe it even won't. Oh, they're about to have an offspring. Oh, are they already? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is bathe. They can actually bathe in this. Ground meat. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Actually, gotten hungry just by imagining it. Anyway, what we have to do right now. Okay. Enough, come on, Bulgar. Focus. Focus. What we have to do is uh, align to surface. Where are you? So if I press this, it actually aligns to a surface I want to put some stuff on. And what I will do is I'm going to put this coverage. I can do it up here probably. So, again, this is... Uh, is it? Huh. I know for sure that this habitat doesn't have any information regarding the animals. I think it's something here. and uh, But I'm gonna improvise, at least for now, okay? Uh, so until I visit the, the zoo and take some notes on where stuff is, I'm just gonna improvise. I'm gonna put one here and here. And for now, since I don't have anything else, I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna put one more here. Yeah, one more thing. So if I press and hold Y, I get this circle and I can move the the object around as I want but if I just press it once it turns for 45 degrees uh, sorry for 90 degrees so what I'm gonna do is put this here cool and before I forget I'm gonna do the speaker as well we're gonna put the speaker here so speaker as the name implies is actually speaking so it's offering audio information regarding the animal we can do act this. We can go pretty wide here. I think we're going to go max. Because there aren't any animals around here. And it won't um, overlay each other. So th there is usually a problem. Oh, nice. Uh, there's usually a problem if two speakers are... Co um, uh, what's the word? So if, they, if one speaker it goes into the field of the other speaker, the people don't like it. They're like confused and so on. So... Um, that's it. Oh, I didn't. I'm gonna show you here. So, when you put information boards around, you actually click on it, and then you have this option here. So, which educational content I want, since meerkats are the closest one, it actually gives me meerkat. If there will be two animals in the vicinity, the closest one would be the first one. So, let's just do this. Oh, this, is, this bothers me. 
this unalignment is really bothering me. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, okay. Cool. I probably could have done this building a bit um, better, but yeah, maybe maybe I'll go back and fix it in the future, but for now let's just do this. So we have some education boards here. We're gonna do a couple of edu education boards here as well. Now let's go. Oh, we have to fix the work zone again because we added this. Awesome. So. Oh, another one lost the balloon. Pop. You can actually pop the balloon of, of uh, the guests. Um, so, shall we? Shall I be an evil god? Those of you that played Black and White or Black and White 2 probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, so let, let's... Nah. Nah, I won't. I won't do this. I'll be a good. I'll be a good guy. I can pop these two. Where are you? Pop. Pop. Cool. Sorry. I sometimes get carried away with popping balloons. Uh, many guests think it's are underpriced. Oh, that's cool. That's nice to hear. So people are actually so satisfied that we can actually increase. So you have two options. You can either increase it with this here, but I'm so clumsy with, with uh, doing this. I'll just have to... How much? Let's say six six dollars and kids will pay for it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up so um yeah there, there was bound to be something wrong <laughs> as i was reviewing this video i realized that um i don't even know i don't even remember when i did this but um apparently as I wanted to put 4.5 for kids, some time ago I designated my numpad comma or delete as a um, as a mute mic. So yeah, when I press that button, apparently I just muted myself and I was speaking to nobody basically. And uh, yeah. Well, it happens, what can I say? So, um, but anyway, I don't want to start again. I want to upload this video anyway, because this is all part of the process. And if I start to go into paralysis analysis, I'll never do anything. So let this be my first stream with first big mistake. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it anyway. So. But on the bright side, we actually did a uh, time lapse, so that's a plus. And you can now actually tell me how do you feel uh, this works. Um, so yeah, what I did here is I wanted to do some more animal trading. I wanted to buy some more meerkats so that we don't only have a couple. Um, the trading was actually very um i was surprised that it was so empty i mean it wasn't empty it was empty for um the real money but there were a bunch of meerkats that you could buy with conservation points and that's usually those are the animals that other players maybe bred and they have very good genetics i mean if you you probably see a couple that are worth like 10,000, I believe it was, 10,000 con uh, conservation credits. And the uh, genetics were just like off the roof. So yeah, but we can't afford that yet. So I did um, buy some other stuff. Then I was trying to figure out what to do next. So uh, in the end, I probably chose, uh, yeah, I chose the, the sable antelopes um, and I was checking my map 
to see how I want to plan this uh, further on because we don't have uh, in our zoo we have zebus I think that's the correct pronunciation and uh, since Planet Zoo doesn't have zebus I was thinking on all what can I do to replace that and um, since there aren't any sable antelopes anywhere in our zoo I decided to make this second habitat a bit of a improvisation so we're gonna do the yeah we're gonna do the sable zoo I'm um, sable sorry sable antelopes uh, I had to move the the generator away because it was um, not placed very well and I'll, I'll have to think about what I'm gonna do with this generator in the next session here I edited the habitat a bit because I wanted to replicate the the area of the uh, antelopes as it is in our zoo and uh, yeah that's about it oh yeah th this I'm I'm so sorry that you couldn't hear this joke I mean uh, it was it it was actually quite funny I don't usually laugh at my own jokes but here it really made me laugh so th that's a first and uh, I'll tell it anyway because it was a good joke and you guys can tell me if it's still funny the second time around or not uh, as I was talking I think it was about meerkats I was uh, explaining how uh, new meerkats come I mean the when they are born and so on so when I wanted to explain something to you I said that I'm gonna show you how to <laughs> how to make babies <laughs> and then I realized what I actually said and I started laughing so uh, yeah, it's still funny for me, so <laughs> hopefully it will, it will be funny for you guys as well. Um, of course, I won't be showing you how the babies are made. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so here I was trying to build this habitat. And I was having trouble with uh, the pathing because I couldn't decide how to how to proceed. Should I go a bit straight up or maybe curve down a bit i still have to have to be mindful of how our zoo is placed so that everything falls in line later on or we're gonna have a bit of trouble but even if, if we do we're gonna improvise a bit because as i said i, I want to do the best replica i can at the moment with the knowledge i have and of course any any tips on how i can improve the habitats and the layouts is more than appreciated um, so yeah here I had some trouble of how to place the habitat and then I wasn't sure how big the habitat should be and as the market for meerkats was not that great I kept checking if we get any good meerkats uh, I, I did found one, but uh, we're gonna add a few in the next episode. So here I'm checking the stats for the uh, sable antelope, how, how much space they need, how their society is built, so I can prepare accordingly. I think, if I recall, I did not find any suitable males, because they were either conservation credits or um, they had very bad genetics and we don't want that and oh yeah we also got a few community challenges which is which was also nice this was the first time for me um, it was a nice feeling that we you know contributed to the community challenge you know so yeah that was cute so we are yeah here i am waiting to uh vet to complete his research so we unlocked a few other stuff one of those is the fun fact so you can learn a lot about the animals in this uh, game and we also unlocked some toy enrichments and some better quality food so toy enrichments actually makes animals 
more joyful, more, more ha ha happier. Their welfare increases. And uh, we got the sprinkler, which is not that great, but it's better than nothing. So for now, I just place sprinkler to, to add to the quality of the animals, to the life of the animals. And then later on, we're going to replace that with some other more fun stuff for the animals. So here I'm completing the, the habitat for the sabled antelopes, uh, placing some uh, educational boards around because we need those we need those a lot. I'm probably gonna replace and add a few more. And yeah, so sable antelopes have arrived. We have four at the moment, four females. We're gonna add a male later on. And I think this is where I try to, yeah, I created the terrain more to their liking, which is also always very important. So, um, Otherwise, the, the animals get very frustrated and you get bad rating and so on, so... So, here I am trying to figure out how to add some trees. Because we, uh, we don't have that much exotic trees in our zoo. We do have a couple, but more or less it's the natural... The nature as it is, so... Uh, but here in the game we have to improvise because Antelopes don't like pine trees that much, so yeah, we'll have to figure something out here. But as I said, it's not a complete replica, it's about uh, having fun, maybe showing the layout of the zoo in my country. If you ever come here and visit, you'll probably already know where is where and you can plan accordingly. And I don't know, maybe com contribute to the overall recognition of our zoo. I mean, as I said at the beginning, we are a very small country and yeah, a little bit helps. But more or less, I'm here for the fun of it, to to entertain you guys, to to take my first steps into the streaming world, so to speak. So th this is my main reason why I joined. So yeah, I'm about to finish here, so thank you guys for joining in, Ho I hope I wasn't that boring, I mean, th the first part I know it's a bit boring, but uh, if you've come this far, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So uh, do leave a comment, do leave um, your ideas and what, what I can improve, be it the sound quality, how to set the mic and or everything else. So thank you guys and see you at the next next one.